In this BDR Suite demo, I'll show you how to configure replication for Hyper VVMs and how to perform failover. BDR Suite offers agentless VM replication. When you replicate a VM, BDR Suite creates an exact copy on the target host, either in the same or a different location. This replica VM is kept in sync with the source VM. In case of a disaster, the replicas are ready to start, allowing you to quickly failover, ensuring business continuity. To get started, click Start Free Trial in the BDR Suite website. Download and install BDR Suite on Windows or Linux machines, or even as a Docker container. For a step-by-step -step video on how to install and set up a backup server, check out the link in the description. Be sure to fill in the form provided for technical assistance. Once the installation is complete, open the BDR Suite Backup Server Console, enter the username, password, and click Sign In. You can now experience BDR Suite's full featured version in your environment with a 30-day free trial. To begin the replication process in the BDR Suite Backup Server, navigate to the VM Replication tab and click on Microsoft Hyper-V. On this page, add the Microsoft Hyper-V host, standalone Hyper-V cluster, or SMB server as a data source. The detailed video for adding a Hyper-V host is available in the description. The hosts you've added will be listed here. Click the Configure VM Replication button corresponding to the Hyper-V host on which the VMs you want to replicate are running. All the VMs running under the selected Microsoft Hyper-V host will be displayed here. For replication, you can either select the entire host or just the specific VMs. To exclude specific VMs or disks, click on VM or Disk Exclusion button. Exclusions are optional. If you've selected an entire host, you can exclude specific VMs using VM exclusion. Additionally, with disk exclusion, you can exclude specific disks from a VM using various criteria. Click on Next to proceed. Guest processing is an optional advanced setting. Enable this option only if you want to create transactionally consistent replication and log truncation on the VM. Otherwise, skip this step. Now, click on Next. On this page, you can configure the scheduling settings. BDR Suite provides flexible options for scheduling VM replication. In this demo, I've set the replication to run every 15 minutes. You can also set a VM replication window based on your needs, during which replication will be paused. Now click Next. On the target selection page, click on the search icon of the Select Target Server option. Choose the target Hyper-V host where you want to replicate the source, VMs, or host. Next, select the credential. Then, choose the number of restore points you want to retain. Then, select the target storage as well. Once all these details are entered, click on Apply. The target server and target storage location is selected. Now click Next. Enter the replication job name, review the configurations, and click on Save Replication. Click on Save Replication Job to confirm. You will be redirected to the List of VM Replication Jobs page. You can click on the In Progress icon to view the replication progress. Once the replication is complete, the replica VM will be created in the target host and will be in an off state with replication taking place as per the schedule. You can click on the Reports icon to view the replication reports. All right, now let's move to the restore process. In the BDR Suite Backup Server, navigate to the VM Replication tab and choose Failover and Failback. Click on Restore Replica of the corresponding replication job you wish to perform failover for. You need to select the replica type. I will show you about each of these two types. First, let's choose the failover option. Failover to the replica VM involves switching operations from the primary source VM to the replica, ensuring that the replicated VM takes over the role of the original VM. Once selected, click on Next. Choose the restore point and click on Next. Select the VM you want to failover. Now click Next. Review and click on the Failover button. Click on OK to confirm. The failover has started successfully. You can click on the progress icon to view the VM failover progress. Also, let me take you to the Hyper-V host and show you the VM which I have just failed over. This is the successful failover process. Now click on the reports icon to view the failover report. The next step is, you can either perform an undo failover to revert operations back to the primary VMs, 
or a permanent failover to make the failover VMs the new active VMs on the target host. To proceed, navigate again to the VM Replication tab and select Failover and Failback. Click on Restore Replica of the respective replication job. In the Choose Replica Type page, select the Finalize Failover option and click on Next. Choose the replica VM, which is failed over. Then, click on Next. Under the Finalize Failover, you have two different options. The first is the Undo Failover. This option turns off the replica VM and simply rolls back the replica VM to its initial state. Know that this will also erase all the changes made on the replica VM when it failed over. The second option is Permanent Failover, which will permanently transfer the operations of the primary VM to the failover VM on the target host, making it a permanent VM there. Note that once you perform a permanent failover, replication will cease and no replica VM will exist. Here, I'm choosing this option. Click Next to proceed. Review and click on Permanent Failover. Click on OK to confirm. Permanent failover has been initiated now. Once the permanent failover is successful, the failover VM will be the new active VM in the target host. You can click on the Reports icon to view the permanent failover report. That's it. Now it's your turn to try it out. Visit our website to start your free trial. And if you need any assistance, contact BDR Support. Thanks for watching.